If you've been getting this blue screen of death, here are some quick tips on how to fix it. So let's get right to it. If you've been getting this blue screen of death, IRQL not less or equal, try these fixes. Type in CMD in your Windows search bar. Then right click command prompt and run as administrator. When the window opens up, type in the following. DISM forward slash online forward slash cleanup image forward slash check health and hit enter and let it scan. Once you see there's no problems, you can move on to step two and type in the same thing again, except at the very end, type in scan health and hit enter and let it scan. And complete. Once it's completed, you can move on to step three. Once again, type in the exact same thing, except at the end, change it to restore health and hit enter. And let this scan. Once it's complete 100% and restore operations completed successfully, now you can move on to our scan. Type in SFC forward slash scan now hit enter and let it scan this one will take some time so go have a coffee break and come back once it's complete you'll see the results and mine says it found some corrupt files and successfully repaired them now if you're still getting a blue screen for the same stop code Another thing you can try is a system restore point and go back to a point before the IRQL not lesser equal blue screen of death was happening. Just press the Windows plus I keyboard shortcut to launch settings app. Then type in system restore in the search and find the restore point you'd like to roll back your computer to. If the restore point isn't working for you, here's another thing you can try. Go and update your windows and drivers. Press the Windows key plus the I key and then scroll down to update and security. Click on check for updates. It'll make sure your windows and your drivers are fully up to date. If there are any pending downloads, take a look and read them. See if you'd like to download and install them. Next, run a memory test. Press the Windows key plus S, then type in Windows Memory Diagnostic and you'll see it. Then right click and select Run as Administrator. And then choose Restart Now and check for problems. This is going to basically reboot your computer and upon reboot, it's going to automatically start scanning and checking your memory for any issues. So once you go ahead and restart your computer, if you did download any updates, it's going to first update it on your system. Once the system is rebooted, it's going to go straight into Windows Memory Diagnostic and start running a memory test. It could take a while, as they do mention that although the test may appear inactive at times, it is still running, so wait until the test is complete. So in my situation, the status said that it found hardware problems were detected. So in order to identify and repair these issues, you'll need to contact the computer manufacturer. Basically what they're saying is you should replace your RAM. And that's fine. RAM is pretty cheap these days. And you can find them anywhere online. You can check the links down below on where you can get RAM. Just be sure you choose the right size and the memory that you want for your model. They're pretty cheap and they're pretty easy to install. But if you need a guide on how to install it yourself, I'll put a link down in the description below on how to install RAM on your laptop or computer videos. Lastly, you should check your operating system hard drive. Go back to Windows, search and type in command and then right click again to run as administrator. Once the command prompt window opens up, Type in WMIC disk drive get status model and hit enter. It'll tell you the model of your hard drive and the status. Everything looks okay, so no problems with my hard drive. Clearly the issue for me was my RAM and just replacing the RAM stick will solve the problem. So I hope this helps anyone out there. Feel free to ask any questions and comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and until next time.